everyone welcome to the studio so today I'm just going to use a little 10 by 10 canvas and I have purchased some of the paints called art mines and it is uh, brushed metallics and I got these actually in the section of the store where you would do stencils where you would buy all your stencils and your stencil brushes so I'm going to see how this mixes up and how it comes out um, for an acrylic pour. And the colors that I have are, um, let's see, amethyst in a metallic, peridot, also metallic, and rose gold. So we're just kind of experimenting this with this, and I'll do uh, probably a ring, a tree ring pour. Thanks. Okay, so I ended up mixing up my paints with one third of paint, two thirds flow mix. It's mixed a little bit on the thicker side. Um, I don't like it to be real runny when I'm doing a tree ring pour. I do want to keep my colors together. And so we're just going to use these three colors with a white background and see how this turns out. So I'll let those sit for a little bit while I do my background. This is just white, acrylic white, Saks brand, acrylic flow. All right, so let's go ahead and stack our cup. I'm gonna, going to have green come out last. do my tree ring pour just straight in the middle. I love it's wiggly, it's um, thick enough that's coming out as a wiggle, which I actually kind of love. Don't want to pour it from too high or it will just mix. I love these colors. Taking a while to come out because it is a little bit of a thicker mix. All right. Lost that trip. Folks, it's difficult to see, but there's some wonderful glitter coming through this metallic. So I'm going to go ahead and fight the air bubbles here, and then we'll see if we can get you a 
finished shut. It's hard to see. All right, so I was not pleased at how this turned out, so I ended up kissing it with a balloon around the outside edges here and wrecking the pour so that I could bring up some of the other colors and get some texture in it because it ended up being a whole lot of green on the top and my rose metallic as well as my... Um, Amethyst metallic just disappeared into the painting. So this is what we ended up. So I hope you enjoyed that. Alright, so the more I looked at this and the more I saw that the green was coming up and coming up and not stopping coming up, I decided I was going to go ahead and put a couple more drops of my amethyst in here and see if I couldn't um, balloon kiss this a little bit more throughout the painting just to make it satisfactory to me it doesn't you could you could stop there if you want if you're doing yours at home however I just wasn't satisfied so I'm going to go ahead and do some more balloon kisses in here so with a balloon kiss you just press the balloon into the paint and pull it back up and I wish you could see I know it's hard to see on this um camera but there's some wonderful metallic things happening on my balloon. I'm going to wipe this off because one of the problems that I'm having is that there's so much I really promise now that this is the final painting. Thanks for watching.